Prosecutors at the Amanda Knox appeal began their final rebuttal today. They insist that the former student from Seattle should spend the rest of her life in an Italian prison. 48 Hours Mystery Correspondent Peter Van Sant is in Perugia, Italy with more this morning. Good morning, Peter. So what happened in court this morning? <laughs> Well, in a case that has always been much more about perception than real evidence, Prosecutor Giuliano Menini once again attacked Amanda Knox and her boyfriend, Raffaele Selecito, for not properly viewing death scene photos of the victim in this case, Meredith Kircher. The implication was that Amanda couldn't look at these photos because she's one of the killers. And when he talked about Raffaele Selecito, he said he looked at the photos a couple of times with a face of ice. He has to do these personal attacks because the DNA evidence in this case has been thrown out. The key eyewitnesses have been discredited and there is really not much left except to go after the accused themselves and to attempt to dehumanize them. So Peter, given that, what is the latest prediction on when this trial will actually end? There had been some speculation that this could end on Saturday, but right now it looks as though Monday. On that day, Amanda Knox and her boyfriend will each give a final statement to the court. It's known as a declaration, uh, a pressure-packed moment in which Amanda Knox will be allowed to address the jury, the two judges in this case, and explain why she gave that so-called false confession and to give her side of the story. Right after that, the jury will deliberate, and we expect some sort of a verdict just a few hours after they leave this courthouse. We'll be watching closely. All right, CBS's Peter Van Sant in Italy. Thank you, Peter.